Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's video, we will discuss about parameters in Power Query. That means, how can you create the parameters and how can you use into your Power Query? Well, a parameter serves as a way to easily store and manage a value that can be reused. Parameters gives you the flexibility to dynamically change the output of any queries depending on their value and can be used for changing the argument values for a particular transform and data source functions and secondly input in custom functions. You can easily manage your parameters inside the manage parameters window as you can see on your screen. You can get the manage parameters window by selecting the manage parameters option inside manage parameters in the home tab. So now enough all the talking let's get started. The very first comes how you can create the parameters. Well, there are two ways to create a parameter. Number one comes from an existing query. In your Power Query window, you can right click on any of the query and then you can convert to parameters. That's the one way. And not only that, if you want to reverse it from your parameter, also you can right click and convert into query. So that's the one that you can do for an existing query. Now the second option is using the manage parameter window. You can select the new parameter option from the drop down menu of the manage parameters in the home tab or you can launch the manage parameters window and select in the new button on the top to create a parameter. You can fill in this form whatever you are going to see in your screen right now like your name, your description, what kind of value you are required over there that means the type or the suggested value or the current value so you can fill over there everything and then click ok then it's going to create a new parameter for you you should also remember over here the properties would be the type suggested value and the current value now question comes where to use your parameters well a parameter can be used in many different ways but it's more commonly used in two scenarios the very first scenario is step argument you can use a parameter as the argument for multiple transformations driven from the user's interface when you worked on it. And you should also remember that this feature is only available in Power Query Online. That means it's not available when you are creating a report on your desktop. How to do that? How to use it? I'm going to show you everything in the demo part. So what you have to do over here, first you will get your data. For example, over here you can see your order ID, total units, percentage margin. Then you will go to the manage parameter window. Over there you will start creating your parameter. And then in that one we can assign a step. Step means your increment 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, whatever you want to do that, you can do that. And then you can have a look all those scenarios where you can do that for example in this scenario we are going to use a filters window where we are saying okay i want all the margins which are greater than for example 0.2 so it's going to give us all the values but suppose you want the margins which are greater than 0.3 or 0.4 or 0.5 so in that case we can create the parameter and every time we can enter the value and accordingly you will get the output Second is custom function argument. You can create a new function from a query and reference parameter as the argument of your custom function. So as you can see on your screen, you can create a function from any of the query that you have. So as you can see on your screen, you can create a function from any of the query. And what you have to do, you have to simply right click and create a function. Then you have to provide your function name and also so you should have your parameter. That's how you can do that. Now we have talked about everything over here in the parameters. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take you to my Power BI service account and there we are going to get an Excel file where we have some of the data. That's a demo data from Microsoft. And then we are going to use it to create a parameters, whatever steps we have discussed over here so far. So let's head over to my Power BI service account. Right now I'm in my Power BI service account and over here what I'm going to do, I'm going to my this demo workspace 
over here I'm gonna create a new data flow click over here then I'm gonna use define new tables add new tables and over here where I'm gonna get the data I'm gonna get the data from Excel workbook for that what I can do I'll click over here and this data is in my OneDrive now you should note over here that you should always use the same credentials throughout your accounts for example if I'm gonna use my OneDrive or my SharePoint and my Power BI service account so your account should synchronize throughout if you will use some another account for example I'm using different accounts for my OneDrive or for my Power BI service it's not gonna work so let me show you how to do that link to file from OneDrive so if I'm gonna use Ajay Sharma 2061 and I enter my password over here let's see what happens it's gonna ask yes but now I'm gonna get an error message which is saying you must browse OneDrive for business as the current user not a different one please sign in as a different user why it's happening because over here you will see my account is audit at baconsultingpro.com so that means two different account and that's why I always suggest you as a best practice please always use same account constantly to your all the services that you are going to use we are going to link it but this time we are going to use the same account that means my audit one and here you can see it's been logged in even if it's popping out it can ask for the credentials you can enter over there but this is my file over here which is my data file for the orders and I'm gonna use it over here so select this file now it's being connected over here if you are using any on-premise file or server then you have to use your data gateway if you want to authenticate yourself you can do it over here under authentication kind we have already discussed everything about these authentications data source in our previous power query videos so let's click on the next button over here and here we have our table so we just want this orders table and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna transform the data over here you can make the changes whichever you would like to make over here and if you don't want to make changes that's also all right let's see first what we have over here we have this order ID column and its type is whole number which is correct then total units and margin over here but margin should be in percentage not like this so what I can do I can come over here and I can make it in percentage so now the very first part comes creating your parameter so as I discussed what you can do one you can right click over here you can come here and what you can do you can convert to a parameter but this is not available for this query so what you can do you can come over here in this window and there's a manage parameters so you can click over here you can either manage your existing parameters or you can click a new parameter over here under manage parameters you will get your parameter name so you can give it a name any name you would like to if you want to give it a name for example I'll say the increment over here so over here there are the certain properties for example this name name is the name of your parameter that you need to provide always second is your description the description is displayed next to your parameter name when parameter information is displayed helping users who are specifying the parameter value to understand its purpose and its semantics then we have this required this required checkbox indicates whether subsequent users can specify whether a value for the parameter must be provided that means if you don't check it that means it's an optional so you can provide it you cannot provide so we have it required then it comes to the type we recommend that you always set up the data type for your parameter and if you would like to learn more you can go to the Microsoft documents and you can learn otherwise there are the different types so you can mention whatever would be the value you can mention over here then we have these suggested values this provides the user with a suggestion to select value for the current value from the available options so there any value means the current value can be any manually entered value and when it comes to the list of the values then also you can provide over here list then you can provide your default values over here and lastly is the query so if you have already query then you can use it as the input over here too 
So those are the values. So right now let's make it suggested value. And here is the current value. So in the current value, you can, for example, define 0.2 and that's gonna create your parameter once you will click on the OK button. So here you can see you have your parameter over here. Now, as we discussed, what if we would like to use this parameter, how we can use it? So what you can do, you will come again in the order table and here you will say, I want to filter this. So number of filters and what it should be greater than, greater than what? Here you can provide your select parameter and here you can provide your increment parameter and click OK. So since we already put over there in the parameter, the increment by 0.2, so you can see all the values that are greater than 0.2 that means 20 percent that's all are gonna appear over here if you would like to change it for example in this case we want to put it 3 that means 30 percent and would like to apply so let's see what is the result over here so you will see all the values of the margins which are greater than 30 percent are gonna appear over here so that's how you can use your parameter into your power query to define the values or to enter the parameter by user's choice and they can get the desired output over there. So this was the example of step argument in query parameters. But here you should also remember that multiple transformations in Power Query offers this experience where you can select your parameter from a dropdown. So always Microsoft recommends that you always look for it and take advantage of what parameters can offer to you and you can vary your table value or the outputs according to your parameter. Now we are going to move to the custom function argument. So what we can do in this one with Power Query, you can create a custom function from an existing query with a simple click. Now what we have to do for that, we can just come over here into our window. So I can right click on my orders table and I can say create function. And over here, I can provide my function name and click OK. That's all you need to do. And here it's gonna by default going to use your increment parameter that we have already used for the orders table. And once I'm gonna do this over here, for example, point one, and I click on invoke. So see what's gonna happen it invoked that one and after invoking that function we see there's a new query invoked function and this is our output table so it's pretty easy it's not much of a difficult choice but this is how you can create a function where i'm gonna use my parameters now also if you would like to test this function again and if you would like to make some more increments so what you can do we will come over here and we'll see the demo function and in this function again you can apply your increment so let's make it over here for and invoke again so this is gonna invoke it once more and this time it's gonna give me the different table so each time you are going to invoke your function which is our demo function it's gonna give you the different output and you can save them as your query too So guys, that's all for this video. In this video, we learn what are the query parameters, how we can use them, how we can use a custom function, or how we can use a step argument into the query parameters, what are the managed parameters, how to create a parameter from a query, or how to go back to a query from a parameters. Those all things you can do in your Power Query window. I hope now it's very clear to you the parameter concepts in Power Query. And if you have any question and concern, please don't forget to let us know.